guys, welcome back to Misty After 3. We're going to do a quick review of everything that we have been learning with solving equations with variables on both sides. So here we have um, an equation. We have variables on both sides. We have a variable here, and by both sides, I mean each side of the equal sign, okay? So we have 4x on this side, and then here we have 6x minus 8x, all right? Now, hopefully you remember from our last lesson, the very first thing that we need to do is combine like terms. So we have two like terms here on this side of the equal sign. 6x minus 8x, which gives us negative 2x. And then we're just going to rewrite our problem so that we can keep everything nice and neat so that we don't get confused. So now that we have 6 minus 4x equals negative 2x plus 2, we have to figure out what to do next, okay? Now what we do know is we know that we need to have everything with variables on one side of the equal sign, and we need to have our constants, aka our whole numbers out variables, on the other side of the equal sign. And in order to move things around, we know that we have to do what? Inverse operations. So here, the question is, what do we want to move over first? What I think that we should move over is the negative 2x to come on this side of the equal sign with the 4x. In order to do that, we need to do inverse operation. What is the opposite of negative 2x? positive 2x. And again, why do we do this? So that it can cancel out. And what we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other. So now I'm going to go plus 2x. And what do we get? We get 6 minus 2x equals 2. Okay? So the question is, are we done? Do we have our variables alone on one side and our constants alone on the other? We don't, right? Here we have a, a term with a variable, but then we also have a constant here and a constant here. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to move this 6 onto this side of the equal sign again by doing inverse operation. So let's choose another color because you know Miss G loves her colors. I'm going to do minus 6 because that is inverse operation. It's the opposite of positive 6. And what we do on one side, we do to the other. So now we have negative 2x equals 2 minus 6 is a negative 4. And last but not least, our final inverse operation is to get our variable alone on one side of the equal sign, right? We want to isolate it. How do we do that? Well, we know that when we have a number and a variable stuck together, they're multiplying. So what we want to do is we want to divide so that we can separate them. So I'm going to say divide by negative 2, and that cancels out. What we do to one side, we do to the other. Divide by negative 2, x gives us 2. And then if we want to check, we just plug 2 in to wherever we see an x, and we're going to find out we got 3. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you getting rid of fractions. All right, so by the way, if you hear talking in the background, it's because today was the first day of tutoring, which means you should have been here instead of watching this on YouTube but it's fine. Tomorrow, 7 a.m. Anyway, okay, so for this one, we're going to practice getting rid of the fractions, okay? We all know that we don't like fractions, so we have a trick in order to get rid of them so that we can just solve the equation regularly, okay? In this case, we are going to multiply our entire equation by the least common denominator. Okay, in this case, our least common denominator is 9 because we want to ask ourselves, what does 9 and 3 both go into? Okay, and they both go into 9. So over here, I'm going to do my set. Well, let me, we're going to distribute to everything first. So 9 times 3 is 27. And then over here, 9 times negative 2 over 9, I'm going to do it as like my little side math over here. I'm going to go 9 times negative 2 over 9, and we know that 9 goes into 9 one time, and 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And this is the whole purpose for multiplying it by its denominator so that we can completely get rid of the fractions. So now we just have minus 2s, don't forget your variable because that's what we're solving for, equals, and again, 9 times 1 over 3s, okay? So again, I'm going to come over here to do some side math. 9 times 1 over 3, okay? 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 3 times 1 is 3. So now I'm going to have 
9 times 1 over 3s becomes just 3s, and then 9 times negative 7 is negative 63. Okay, now we have an equation that doesn't look so scary because there are no more fractions, and we can work with this equation. Ah, sorry. Okay, so now we have an equation, not so scary, fractions are gone, we can work on it like a regular equation. So we know that we want our terms with variables on one side and our constant terms, aka our whole numbers out variables, on the other side. So the first one that I want to move over is the 3s. I'm going to move it over to this side of the equal sign by doing inverse operation. Okay, in this case, my inverse operation is negative 3s because this is 3s and we want to do the opposite. So 3s minus 3s, this cancels, and what I do on one side, I do to the other. But remember, we need to put it with its like term, okay? We're not gonna put it with the 27 because we cannot compare terms that are not like terms. We're gonna put it with the term that is the like term, which is negative to us. We're gonna rewrite our problem to keep everything nice and neat. We have 27 minus 5s equals negative 63, okay? Now, we have, we're not like quite there because we still need to take this 27 and move it over. So again, our constants are on one side and our um, terms with our variables are on the other because remember, we're solving for x. So I'm going to do purple and I'm gonna go minus 27 minus 27 and this here cancels and I have negative 5s equals 7 and 3 is 10, carry the 1, 7 and 2 is 9, negative 90. And lastly, we need to get our s by our itself. Again, we have to do inverse operation to isolate the variable, okay? What is the 5 and the s doing here? They're multiplying because we have a number and a variable stuck together that's multiplication. Inverse operation would be division. So I'm going to go divided by negative 5 divided by negative 5, s equals, and over here is some side math, negative 90 divided by negative 5, 5 goes to 9 one time, 5 goes into 40 eight times, and negative divided by a negative is a positive, so s equals positive 18. And again, if I want to check my work, I just plug it in every time I see an s, and I'll realize that they Okay, again, Miss Montan says I have to do a closing. This is my closing. Goodbye, kiddos. Thanks for watching Miss G after three. Do your homework.